guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be solving the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. So, as I told you in the last video, you guys have to master the 2x2 two two without looking at the algorithms. Then, the 3x3 three three is nothing. It's very easy. Now, I'm going to show you the notations. So, first, right inverted, then right. Then, left, and left inverted. Then, Da down and down inverted up and up inverted and front and front inverted then back and back inverted I'm going to show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube in two steps so just these two here up then side like this then keep repeating till it's the Rubik's Cube is solved. So now let's just mix the Rubik's Cube up. So these four are the corner pieces, this four are the side pieces, and this in the middle is the center piece. So for whatever color the center piece is, that's that side. So this is the white side, this is the red side, this is the yellow side, this is the orange, this is the blue, and this is the green. So the first step is to solve the white side. For that, you have to flip it over to the yellow side. And you have in this in this area, you have to make a white plus. So first, we can just search our first piece right here. So this, turn it, bring it down. There, up, we got our first centerpiece, then this is already here, so we can just do that. The silver. Then there's one more thing, one more piece in the bottom here, so we just can turn it like that. Now we solved our white plus. So the next step is there's this color right here under the white. So you have to match this color to the centerpiece. So orange, I'm going to match that to the orange centerpiece. Then you have to make it down back to the white centerpiece. You just keep repeating that until all your white cross is over. Green, red, then blue. Then we have our cross in the white side. So the next step of solving white is to solve the corner pieces right here. So first we have to search a corner piece. I already got a piece here. So then you have to see the sides of the piece. So I have green and orange. So I have to match green to the green center piece. Like this. And since there's orange already here. Orange matches there. Green matches there. Then you have to put the side down. Back in. And solve that. Then you just have to keep going till you solve the white side. So we have our orange and blue, so we match the orange to the orange centerpiece and the blue to the blue centerpiece. So this, then we just have to keep doing it. Then I have red and green. Then we successfully solved our white side. If you guys don't have any pieces here, which I do, but this is just for example. This piece is in the bottom. This is for the bottom piece scenario. You have to Put it down and turn it away. Put this piece back up. Then we have our piece right here. Then match it to the colors and do like that. And this first layer over here. Now we have to solve the second layer. So all of this right there. We have to solve that. For that, we have to flip the Rubik's Cube over to the yellow side. So you have to find a piece, there's like no yellow, no, you shouldn't find a piece like this, there's yellow, but there's blue on the bottom. 
So you should, we do not want yellow. So I found one piece. There's no yellow on the top. So first, let's go and see the blue centerpiece because this is blue and we have to match it to the blue centerpiece here. Then, uh, then check where the red is. So it's on my right side here. So turn it to the left. Bring this up. Turn it back here. Then we just solve it like normal. Then we have this piece right here. You just have to keep doing that till you solve the second layer here. So now I have blue and orange. So I go to orange because this piece is the orange. Then we have to check where blue is. It's on my right side. So turn it to the left. Look down. Up. And solve it again. So as you can see, we solved our first uh, second layer, which is the blue right here. You just have to keep going till you solve the whole thing. Then green and orange. Now we have successfully solved our second layer. I told you guys, for to solve this piece, you don't want a piece that has yellow. So in case you have all the pieces that are yellow, you have to do this. So right, turn this piece away from you, then bring it back, then when we solve this, then you can have, then you'll have these pieces again. So well, we finally um, finished the second layer, so now we have to flip the cube over and we have to do the yellow plus. So I already have a line like this. So if you have a line like this, you have to turn it towards you. And now for the formula. The formula is front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, and front inverted. So as you can see, we got our yellow plus. It's okay if you didn't get uh, the yellow plus on the first try like me. It's okay, you just have to keep repeating the formula and be very careful when you're doing this formula because if you mess up, you have to do the whole thing over again. And now we have to solve the corner pieces. These four right there. So, this is the formula. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up two times, then right inverted. You just have to keep going till you solve the L. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up two times, right. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up two times, then right inverted. Then we solved the L. We solved the yellow. Now the next step is to solve the corners right here. So first you have to look if there's any matching corners. I already have one. That's already solved, but it's okay. I have matching corners. So since I already have matching corners, you have to turn it away from you. Then you have to do the formula. Now you can see we got our corner. We have solved all our corner pieces. So we're finally on our last step of solving the Rupees Cube. So for this step, we have to solve this piece right here. Then we have to do this formula. Front two times, up, right inverted, left, front two times, right, left inverted, up, front two times. Now you can see I solved the blue, so now we just turn it not to a Jew, then repeat the same formula. Front two times, up, right inverted, left, front two times, right, left inverted, up, then front two times. So you just have to keep doing this formula till you solve the cube.
and we finally solved the Rubik's Cube. Thank you guys for watching. If you didn't see my 2x2 video, I'll put a link in the description below. And for how many people solved this, please comment down below. And share this to a friend who might want to solve this. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one.